Uh, hi guys, we're on the road to Central Nicosia. I'm Pan. Cameraman's Pete. Don't worry what he looks like. He looks like a sub. Uh, we're gonna go check out some game stores. I don't think there's any other video showing uh, off what Nicosia has to offer for gamers and game collectors. So we are taking that burden. We're gonna start off with Gamers Boulevard and work our way out uh, from the center from there. Enjoy the video. Alright, we're walking to Gamers Boulevard. It's right across the street. It's uh, the first store in Cyprus to focus exclusively on gaming. So, uh, what I like about this store is some of its prices are a bit cheaper than others. And also, last week it started uh, taking in and selling used games, which is also a plus. Let's go check it out. Oh my god. Is that an N64? Is it for sale? No, it's not for sale. Why? Uh, we started using a, building a museum for video games, so... Nice. Oh my god, Zelda! Wow. I think this is the only place in Cyprus you can find uh, N64 games for sale. Seriously. I've actually never seen a live N64. Sealed copy of Adama. That's pretty sweet. It's a Game Boy. So does this actually work? It's in a fully working condition and it's one of the few Game Boys, perhaps worldwide, that all the pixels are in a good condition. <laughs> is that for sale or is it also part of the museum thing? Yeah. <laughs> museum? Yeah. Oh shit, it was 99 cents! Alright, I got, I picked up Little Pit Planet for 9 euros. Because uh, Surprisingly, I don't have that in my collection yet, and they were nice enough to give us these candy freebies. Yay! It's a week controller. Where are we off to now? Alright, we're outside Megalan now. I'm kind of partial to this place because I used to work here. Indie games grace your shelves, often at Steam-like prices. Ooh. Are they as good as the Humble Bundle, the prices? Not that good. I said Steam, not Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle is still Steam. Has Steam keys, but our price is cheaper than Steam. Fair enough. Everything in here is like five euros or less. Might be something interesting here. Got bundles of Xbox and PC games. The Xbox ones go for like forty bucks. PC games are. Almost 10. Got some old PC stuff up here. Oh my god, they have Lucius. This is amazing. <gasps> Stronghold! I fucking love this game. Ooh. What kind of game is that? It's a strategy game. It's really interesting. Sweet. Botanicula here. King's Quest Collection. 15 bucks has seven King's Quest games. I would buy this if I knew if they were good. You two, please tell me if they're good. Don't know anywhere else you can buy sealed Game Boy games. Peter picked up a keyboard. Yay! And speaking of indie games, I got Journey Collector's Edition on the PS3. Our next destination is Traffic. Oh, uh, isn't that a DVD store? I found a sealed copy of Resident Evil Gaiden there uh, for 20 bucks, so it's worth looking at. All these lost games. Half price for Borderlands, just 19 euros. 10 euros each. Amazing. You love Lost, don't you? I love the game. I love this cover art. It's just guy squishing out. I should miss it. Collectors in 9 bucks. Go for it. How much does it usually cost? Well, new, I'm assuming it must go for like at least 20, so. Plus, it's by Ubisoft, man. Ubisoft is awesome. Hey, bunch of collector's editions. And music memorabilia. A sealed DS system. You don't see these around often. Not a fan of the light myself. 
So this time Pete picked up the Mist 4 Collector's Edition in the end. Spending too much pasta I think, but okay. Envy Razir, it's worth it. Yeah it is.